We don't know what the last star in the universe will be like exactly. But the one thing we do know is that most likely eventually there is going to exist at a certain point in the future a time where only one star is left in this universe. Now the reason that this will happen is because the most likely scenario which will play out is called the Big Freeze or heat death of the universe. There are others but current evidence of an ever expanding universe points out that over time as galaxies spread further away from each other there will come a time where even the smallest particles will be getting further away from each other just like the galaxies are doing now. It will get to the point at which the temperature in the universe would be near the absolute zero which is why it is called the big freeze. But of course for such a thing to get to that point first all of the galaxies will need to be spread out from each other. Then as the gas needed to form the stars drains out the star formation would stop only leaving a select number of stars which will over time go through their phases and eventually die out. Approximately stars could form from this point now to 1 trillion to 100 trillion years into the future. After that most likely no stars will be formed. So when all of the gas that is needed to form stars is used up that's when suddenly those lonely bright galaxies that are really far away and apart from each other will suddenly start to lose their appearance by dimming out over time as stars begin to die out. Now of course after stars stop forming in the universe the stars that are already there will stay there and they will stay there for a long time. After certain types of stars reach the white dwarf phase, the last phase. That phase actually lasts the longest by far and they could be producing light for quadrillion years after which they will turn into theoretical black dwarfs. We haven't seen them yet since we are so early in the universe but it is most likely that they will exist in the future. The reason I am saying that we are so early in the life of this universe despite the fact that it existed for 13 billion years is simply because the universe is still going to exist for trillions upon trillions of years. So going by that logic the universe only just started existing. So after stars die out in the far far future, I'm talking quadrillions of years, eventually in the whole universe there is going to come a time when there is only one star left. What could also be the case is that there is not just one star but two stars orbiting each other or maybe even three. In which case what is most likely to happen is that one star will become a black dwarf while the other one will be becoming as well but it will still produce some light. So there will be a black dwarf and a white dwarf orbiting each other. Now that is a crazy thought considering that as of right now in our galaxy alone there are hundreds of billions of stars and in the universe there are 2 trillion galaxies. Meaning there are around 200 sextillion stars as of right now. That number by the way has 23 zeros. So despite that many stars there will come a time where there is only one shining. Now this star we have no idea for how long could it go on maybe a quadrillion years but there will also come a time when it also becomes a black dwarf and it dies out. During that event those will be the last photons that will ever get released after which the big freeze will occur and there will be no light left in the whole universe. This star could also happen to have planets which will most likely be very cold and dark since the star would be in the white dwarf phase. Still from those planets the transition from a white dwarf to a black dwarf would be visible and it would for sure be a cool event to witness from those planets. Still this event of course may or may not happen in the far future. This is just a speculation. But it is a speculation that has a high probability of really happening in the far future.